This is a 700 plus level question. For what value of k, we'll have to find out, will the median of the set of numbers given in this question be greater than the mean of that set? What we'll do is we'll be solving these questions in two ways. Subsequently, we'll invest a couple of minutes in understanding some theoretical background behind it. The results of the theory is very important. If you, even if you don't remember this question, remember those results. They'll be very useful in cracking quite a few DS questions. If you miss out that point, you could get such DS questions incorrect. Let's get started. A set contains the following observations, a, a, k, a, k square, where both a and k are positive. What we need to find out is, for what values of k will the median of the set be greater than the mean of the set? What is going to be the median of these three numbers, a, a, k, a, k square? Because k is greater than zero, the median is a, k. For the moment, kindly take this as is. Let's not question this. Let's do this as part of the theory towards the end of the video. Right now, let's take this result as God given and move on. What is the mean of these three numbers? Mean of these three numbers is the sum of the numbers divided by three, which is a plus a k plus a k square divided by three. What we need to find out is for what value of k is the median a k going to be greater than this mean? So we need to find out that value of k for which a k will be greater than a plus a k plus a k square divided by 3. Step 1, let's cross multiply this 3. So what will be left with this? 3 a k should be greater than a plus a k plus a k square. Let's take all terms to one side. The 3 a k comes here, we'll make it as minus 2 a k. So this entire expression is going to be lesser than 0. So what we'll see in the next step is a k square minus 2 a k plus an a. This is less than 0. All of the terms on the left hand side have an a in them. So let's take a as a term common out of all these terms. So it's going to be k square minus 2k plus 1 is less than 0. The expression within the parenthesis is nothing but k minus 1 the whole square. So what we have is a into k minus 1 the whole square is negative. a is one number, k minus 1 the whole square is another number. Product of two numbers is negative when one of them is positive and the other is negative. So possibility 1, a is positive, k minus 1 the whole square is negative. Possibility 2, a is negative and k minus 1 the whole square is positive. The question explicitly states that a is positive. So the second possibility is ruled out. So a has to be positive and for what value of k will k minus 1 the whole square be negative? k minus 1 the whole square is a square. Square of real numbers are either 0 or those values will be positive numbers. Square of a real number can never be negative. So we can infer that there exists no real value of k which will make this work, which will make k minus 1 the whole square to be negative, which will make a into k minus 1 the whole square to be negative, which will make this condition to be true. So there exists no value of k which will make the median of these three numbers to be greater than the mean of these three numbers. Quickly summarize this entire proceedings in a printed form. The median is a k mean is the set of numbers, we are cross multiplying, taking all terms to one side. So this is the expression that we get. Take a common out of these terms, so you will get a into k square minus 2k plus 1 is negative. This expression within the parenthesis is nothing but k minus 1 the whole square. The product of two numbers is negative, when one is positive, the other is negative. We know that a cannot be negative because the question mentions it. So what is left is a is positive and k minus 1 the whole square should be negative. For real values of k, Square of a num k minus 1 will also be real. So square of a real number can never be negative. It can either be 0 or can be positive. But this question wants it to be negative. So no such k exists is what is the answer. So no value of k will make the median of these three numbers to be greater than the mean of these three numbers. Let's look at the alternative approach. It's a much better way to solving it if you recall something that we did a couple of videos back. If you haven't watched that video, kindly go and watch that video in this playlist. These three numbers, a, a, k, a, k square, they are in a geometric progression because you multiplied a k to get the second term, multiplied a k again to get the third term. What is a, k to this geometric progression? It is a geometric mean. We know that a, k is the median because a and k are positive. We said if k is positive, a, k will be the median. a, k is the median. a, k is also the geometric mean. Now, what do we have? All these numbers a, a, k, a, k square will be positive because a and k are positive. a is positive, k is positive, product of two positive numbers will be positive. Again, multiplied with the positive number will be positive. For positive numbers, recall the a, m, g, m inequality we had. Arithmetic mean will always be greater than or equal to the geometric mean. 
the median that we have is nothing but the geometric mean. So this question is asking, when will the median be greater than the arithmetic mean? Essentially, this question is asking, for these three positive numbers, when will the geometric mean be greater than the arithmetic mean? The inequality states that the arithmetic mean could be equal to the geometric mean or will be greater than the geometric mean. It's never going to be lesser than the geometric mean. So if you recall this particular part about the arithmetic mean, geometric mean inequality, this question could have been solved in about 25 seconds. You needn't have gone through all of what we did in the previous method. AK, which is both the geometric mean and the median, can never be greater than the geom never than be greater than the arithmetic mean. Now, let's look at a bit of theory. I said that AK is a median because K is positive. I'm just restating that one way to verify it is pick any value of K which is non-zero, and then pick a k, let's say, which is equal to 2. Check out, find out a, a k, a k square. To make life easy, let's take a to be equal to a 2, k to be equal to a 2. What are the values of a, a k, a k square for this example? It's going to be a 2, 4, and an 8. Ascending order of these three numbers is 2, 4, 8. The middle number is a median, so this is the median. Let's check out what happens when a equals 2 and k equals half. Let's write down the values of a, a k, a k square. a is a 2 ak is 2 into half which is equal to 1. ak square is this number into a half which is equal to 1 by 2. The ascending order is half, 1 and 2. The middle number obviously is a 1 which again happens to be equal to ak. So whether k is 2, k is a half, k lies between 0 and 1, k is an integer, k is a decimal fraction, it doesn't matter as long as k is positive. You can also check with a being negative, try it at home. Right? So for whatever values A takes, as long as K is positive, AK will be the median. Now if K is negative, AK will not be the median. It's either going to be A or AK square. Let's look at a couple of examples and then check out whether it is A or AK square or can both be possible. Let's go with A to be a 2. Here I said K should be negative. I'm going with K to be equal to minus 2. Let's list down the values of A, AK and AK square. A is a 2 k is a minus 2, so when it's multiplied with this, it's going to become a minus 4. Minus 4 into a k, which is minus 2, is going to make it an 8. What is the ascending order of these three numbers? It's a minus 4, 2 and an 8. The middle number is 2, middle number happens to be a. So the median in this instance, when k is a minus 2 and a equals 2, is an a. It is not a k, it is a. Let's check out with one more example. I'm keeping a as 2. Let's make k to be equal to a minus 0.5 or a minus 1 by 2. Again, let's list down the values of a, a k and a k square. a is a 2, no problem there. a k is a 2 into minus half, which is a minus 1. a k square is a k into k, minus 1 into minus half, which is equal to plus half. Write these numbers in an ascending order. Minus 1 is the smallest number, half is the second one, and 2 is the third one. The middle number is half, which happens to be a k square. So if k is negative, depending upon what values a takes, the median will either be a or it will be a k square. It's not going to be a k. Quickly summarize this, finding these two examples in a printed form. We computed the values of a, a k, a k square, written them in ascending order. 2 is a middle number which happens to be a. So in this scenario, a is the median. If k equals minus half, again let's compute the values of a, a k and a k square. We have written them in ascending order. 0 0.5 is a middle number which happens to be a k square. So in this instance, a k square is the median. In recapping this, if k is negative, a k will not be the median. It's going to be either a or a k square. Remember this. So if somewhere in a data sufficiency question, they mention a, a k, a k square, and you think that a k is going to be the median, check out once more, check whether k is positive. Whether that's stated in the question stem or in the statements. If it's not stated anywhere, you cannot assume k to be positive. So a k need not be the median. What else can you do to prepare for the test? Good question. You can always start by subscribing to this channel and signing up for the most comprehensive and affordable GMAT Quant course that's available online at gmat.vizaco.com.